Hi guys, this is Virag from Bionic Bus and it's still a little bit early but we are already on the red carpet in the Fairmont Century Plaza on the Real TV Awards. This event organized by the Critic Choice Association and it's going to be very interesting. Please stay with us and stay tuned. Congratulations uh, for your nomination and what does it mean for you? Thank you. It's, it, it means a lot to be here and represent the show. I happen to be lucky enough to be on a show like Million Dollar Listing Los Angeles. It's been on for 14 years. Bravo has been incredibly supportive of me and so I'm just grateful to be a part of the event. And you are the only female on this show. How does it feel like to be <laughs> surrounded by all of this male? Obviously very good. I mean, I'm, I'm excited to be on camera with two of my very best friends this season. Um, the cast has shrunk to three of us, and so we get to share a lot more of what's happening between Flag and Altman and I on a personal level and not just the incredible real estate we're lucky enough to sell. So. I mean, I couldn't be happier to be a part of the show and then to be able to do it with two of my close friends is kind of like next level, you know? Please share with me that what is your dream home? My dream home? I've sold it. <laughs> Not my own home. I was actually talking about this a, a little bit ago. I have a new dream home like every six months, so I change it up all the time. Right now, I kind of have my heart set on putting a little investment down in a secondary home in St. Bart's. Um, because ideally, I'd like to quit real estate and bartend on a beach somewhere in a caftan instead of this. But in the meantime, um, I'm lucky enough to have a beautiful home in Beverly Hills and do what I do. So I can't exactly complain. What was the first time when you realized that you are interested in, uh, you know, home design? Oh, in real estate? My God, when I started making money doing it. <laughs> That's the truth. I, I, I sort of happened upon real estate. I was an actor. I studied theater growing up. I wanted to be on stage in New York and do plays. And, and I woke up and I kind of said, well, this is going to be really tough to make a living. And I wanted to be financially independent. So I said, I should try this real estate thing. I know people. Like, I know rich people. I should be able to do this. And this it comes together, this is how, what I think, that it comes together, that if you are in real estate business, you are also into, in, you know, home decor, home design. Is it, is it true? I mean, actually, it's not. Not all, I mean, it is true with me, but not all real estate agents necessarily have great taste or have un an understanding in architecture or design. I happen to have loved both for a very long time, and I come from a family of contractors, designers, and so it's just something that I've grown up around, and so I'm passionate about it. And you also have a book. Please share something about it, because I think you... It's another field, but you have for so many women to, uh, to you know, feel themselves more and, and to stand by themselves. So please share something about the book. Uh, I wrote this book and it actually came out right in the midst of COVID. And the title was Fear is Just a Four-Letter Word. And I remember the fear that came into my body when I was launching a book in the middle of a pandemic. And... Luckily enough, uh, the audience embraced it in a way that I was not expecting. And perhaps the understanding and embracing fear as a woman of my success in business is something that's relatable. I think a lot of women don't want to showcase that they're scared or have fear. And I think it's about discussing it, but then also putting it aside and walking into the room and being able to own it. And luckily, um, it resonated with a lot of women. Well, thank you so much and congratulations again for your nomination. Thank you so much.